Yeet throw. It's really beautiful. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so good. All right. So none of these characters have one of those throws. But we got Arrow and Charlie the King. Now, uh, Charlie the King's also on the PR. Yeah, very, very high on the PR as well. Mm -hmm. And Arrow, definitely known even throughout Smash 4, being one of the uh, top Link players. Soka has a lot of Link players, or at least they did in Smash 4. Yeah, even our very own Vance uh, commentator likes to play a little bit of Link. And I really like Arrow's Link, too. I remember the last time I saw him play. I was having a lot of fun just watching him go to town. And that was weeks ago. So seeing what he's developed into now, I'm excited. Charlie going for the down air. Yes, that little pop-up after the up B going to save Charlie the King there. I was really shocked that he was able to make it. He wasn't even getting uh, hit by the down air with Link. Yeah, in terms of matchup, I have a decent amount of experience in this matchup. I do feel like it's either even or like slight wolf advantage. I just feel like Wolf, for the most part, can out projectile Link, and that's essentially like the, his main gameplay. He is that projectile slash like setup base character, especially with the new bomb. Mm, yeah, that is a good one. Does a uh, oh nice recovery, nice recovery. Oh, trying to get the little up B. Does a uh, side B does. Link's shield, Hylian shield, still kind of negate the energy blast, the neutral B from Wolf? I believe so, yes. I think you can block that. Hmm. Oh, there's the forward air and still a very powerful move coming out here for Link. Uh, so maybe the Link walk isn't such a bad little uh, thing to do in this matchup. Yep. I I'm not too sure if it's up when you're walking. I know if you're standing completely still, it's up. Yeah, it, it actually does activate when you're walking, but you have to be walking fairly slowly. Okay. Mm. Yeah, definitely could be an option here for Arrow. Oh, gets the back air. Beautiful oh. tech chase. Almost catches the jump with the up air as well. Had the read, but not quite the positioning there. Mm. And the way I'm looking at Arrow play, like he seems like he's pretty well versed in these little setups that he's got here. Like he went for a boomerang and went for an up smash. It didn't quite pan out, but I saw the idea. Yeah, one thing that Link does have um, in this matchup is he ha oh, we see that yeah. alien shield coming into play. Link doesn't necessarily completely lose out in range in this matchup. They both have pretty similar nares, and the fair being a disjoint is going to help uh, Arrow out quite a bit here against Charlie. Oh, I wasn't expecting an arrow there. I was thinking of a forward tilt perhaps as an edge guard, but uh, right now we're seeing some pretty good ledge trapping right now. Uh, the grab. Beautiful. Knew that Charlie was going to go right in the shield there. Gets the bomb oh, set up, but the reflector. Smart. Yeah. That was clever. Dang, tries to get the trump in a up B. I see you. Oh, but the up B out of shield will do it here for arrow mm. and gets himself a pretty lead here. Charlie, honestly, not racking up too much damage considering Wolf's damage output. It's true. I feel like uh, Link's up B out of shield is really understated. That happens a lot to me, at least. It's it's really strong. Oh, yeah. It's a very strong move. Um, up B's out of shield are just very quick because, uh, yeah, you don't have to jump cancel anymore. Beautiful parry into a combo string. Oh, oh and he wow. rolled into it. That covers two of those options. Oh, yeah. Such a great, great, great tool for ledge trapping. And you just have to respect it. It's so strong. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It'll kill you in the center of the stage. No problem. All right. Now, Charlie bringing it back. Already getting himself a very hefty lead here for a throw for the tech chase. Mm. I would like to see more use of the disjoints. I mean, I know that Link doesn't have the fastest uh, draw in the West, but it's still there, and it's still pretty heavily outranges Wolf. There's the parry. Another one. Wow, Charlie's so on point with these parries right now, especially on those multi-hit moves. It's going to be so useful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not like Link has anything really quick to punish with, even if he does get parried. You know, like he doesn't have anything yeah. faster than, like, frame four, I think. Another thing to note, too, is when Arrow has the bomb, he can't use his high lane shield. Oh, and the oh. normal getup. Great reactions. Charlie with the up smash there to seal out game one. Did that? I think I saw this a little earlier. He was able to suck somebody up with up smash from the ledge and just blast them into the stratosphere. Oh, yeah. It, it scoops. Yeah, it has insane range. And oh you low God. silhouette, too, because mm. Wolf like does the splits like on the ground yeah. upside down. So it's like... He, he low profiles um, some moves as well. But if you block that first hit, you can basically punish with any old move that you want. Yeah, I mean, it, it has a lot less lag than most up smashes, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got the wolf skin fox. All right, I, I see this, I see this. Trying to keep himself, uh, trying to keep his opponent a little mixed up. Oh, no punish there. Yeah, Charlie did use this color in Smash 4. Man, these parries are so on point. He just knows exactly when Arrow wants to swing and getting all these. That's one thing about Fox is you need to nail those platform resets because Fox just gets so much damage or the stalks out of it. Oh, yeah, true. A lot of the time I see the stalk come out, just up air, up air, up air. Or he'll just... I see that Fox is really good at baiting that air dodge. That, that oh, seems to be what he does. There's so much fear, man. That shield pressure, Charlie just baiting back as well. But Arrow finds the air to defuse some of this pressure. Mm. Gets him off stage. 
Oh, that Nair, that was so quick. Okay, setting up on the ledge here. Charlie is moving <laughs> on him. Wow, but the forward tilt almost does it. Yeah, a little too much action. Yeah, and that's going to be unteckable there. Very smart arrow or bomb coming out from Arrow. Mm. I love his uh, his little tag, the three hearts. That's wonderful. Oh, yeah, from the game. It's, it's so cool. Yeah, I've been playing Breath of the Wild, so. Nice, nice. Great game. Great oh, yeah, game. so good. Whoa, yeah, catching him with the back end. Yeah, there's like some kind of weird like scoop or wind box from the reverse side. Oh, this down air should <laughs> do the trick. Arrow looking oh. clean against this fox. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Charlie just walks straight up. He's like, why'd you do that, man? Man, and 171%. Can Charlie find this stock? This shield is looking really low, but there's the double jump. Oh, oh, oh man. He might have been dead if you connected that. He that might have killed. Rate. Yeah, Fox is really light. I've learned that uh, your DI skills get a lot better when you pick up Fox. Ooh, was that attack or did he just not get knocked back? He, he no, he yeah, he, he definitely did. 197. And I, I really like the reverse up B from Arrow, too. Kept him alive for so, so long, but finally losing his stock, getting pretty much to 100 or 200%. Yeah, threatened death, too. Yeah, in full rage, I wouldn't be surprised if that did kill. Oh, oh these boomerangs. It, it's going to be pretty hard for Charlie to bring it back while the parrying and down tilt, not quite it. There's that regular grab coming out from Link. Doesn't have that slow tether anymore. Link has such a good grab in this game. It's six frames. I think that's about as fast as it can get. Yeah. 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 It's very I, quick. I can't speak for the range, but, I mean, I'm sure Link's are much more happy with this grab. Ooh. What a call out from Arrow. That forward air is going to seal the deal. Charlie trying to get up and over, trying to get these landing nair started, but Arrow knew that. Stuffed him out with that forward air, and he's going to take game two here in the set. Yep, there it is. Wonder if we're going to go back to Wolf. Still, though, I got to say, those parries are looking real nice. I'm not sure if he's doing the whole Falco bot thing or if he has a, uh, what do they call them, the Arduino adapters? Yeah, you should, you shaved me a, a link of that. That was really oh, helpful. Oh, right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, did you get it? No, no, I haven't. <laughs> no, but I will. They, those are really good, yeah. You can, like, make it hold a direction for training and all that. They're really good. Let's hope for a patch, though, to fix that training so people don't have to. <laughs> Uh, sorry to break it to you, man. Oh, yeah. It ain't coming. <laughs> Dare? Okay, just gonna nair for the damage. Yeah, and I'll, I'll, just from the stage pick, I could already see Charlie wanting to go with the wolf here. Goes for final destination. I, I feel like Fox could still succeed in final destination, but like I said, Fox just thrives so much off of those platform resets. Why is this exceptionally good for wolf? Um, it depends on what kind of wolf you want to play. Uh, for the most part, oh man, did, yeah. my man didn't get touched. Not at all. Did not get touched. But uh, this stage is really good for ledge trapping because ledge jump is weaker on this stage. You have less places to land and reset your resource after uh, ledge jumping. Yeah, you can't directional air dodge on any old platform. Yeah, exactly. So uh, it, it's really good if you want to ledge trap really hard. And Charlie is a very good ledge trapper. Yeah. Speaking of, it's almost that time of the day to start ledge trapping again. OK, hey. with that boomerang. Oh, man. Arrows is getting pushed back. But I love the way that he's able to be aggressive while he's on the back pedal. Oh yeah, and we, we see the mix up with the uh, the instant airs or you know cranking those forward airs for that little diff uh, more range but a little bit more startup. Throwing out the boomerang, giving him more than one thing to look at. Oh, missing that down smash. Okay. You, you did point out that range on the grab, not the greatest. There is the double jump. He's gonna have the bomb recovery here, Aww. but he misses. Completely missed it. Yeah, I mean that that is very difficult to do. You have to. You have to do it at a certain timing, but the forward smash to catch the landing arrow trying to get his way back into this game. I don't know if that was a high IQ boomerang play or just yes. luck, but... Sometimes you, know. you got to rip it, dog. Mm -hmm. Let it rip. All right, but we're back on the ledge here. Charlie not going to be able to get in position. Arrow. Good tomahawk. Some, yeah, getting some good damage here. Oh, boy. Not quite. That was really well-intentioned, though. Yep. Dang, that was not worth... Mm -hmm. <laughs> not at all. Maybe he thought he was going to get the spike hitbox, but yeah. Definitely, uh, or maybe he thought he just wouldn't die. That fair is just so safe. I mean, Charlie the King really spaced it really well, but that up out of shield from Link just did not touch. That was very surprising. Okay, bomb recovery. It's that time of the day. Ooh, oh. Charlie trying to catch the landing. Mm. And that's something people are trying to get a little bit more used to. Some people just kind of commit to the uh, ledge trap, but not really try to get Link after the, the bomb detonation. But still living here, 146%. I think it might be because the bomb, just, it feels kind of sporadic. Like, it always sends him forward, but, ooh, yep, that's a death. But yeah. the reach around back air, Charlie the King going to seal it out? I don't, is this? Yeah, yeah, okay, so that was quarters. Yeah. Is semis after this? Um, not, not too sure. Mm. Everyone getting hyped for Street Fighter, though. Yo, let's go. Yeah. Let's go oh, the chun -Li. Yeah, you can't see it, but she <laughs> just put the hurt. <laughs> yes, she did. Oh, um, 
So we have Prime Saga. Yes. And we also have a Nintendo Direct on the 12th, right? I believe it's on I the 12th. I thought that was fake. I, no, the, the fake I saw was uh, posting it as the 11th. I think I saw.